typical contractile cell in the myocardium has a resting membrane potential. Cells in the SA node do not have a fixed resting membrane potential. Instead, the resting membrane potential of an SA node cell is called a pacemaker potential. Each healthy heartbeat starts with a pacemaker potential, in which the autorhythmic cells of the quick-firing SA node spontaneously excite themselves and neighboring cells. The cell's membrane potential gradually becomes more positive until threshold is reached. This triggers rapid depolarization, sending the contraction signal on its way. Repolarization follows, and the SA nodal cell is ready to fire again. In ventricular cells, an action potential has four stages. The resting membrane potential is steady until a stimulus causes it to exceed threshold, triggering rapid depolarization, which is followed by the plateau, during which the cell remains depolarized. The plateau is followed by repolarization, after which the cell returns to the resting potential. The SA node's rate of firing, combined with modifications from the autonomic nervous system, determines the heart rate. The autonomic nervous system can modify the heart's rate in two ways. The hormone acetylcholine, secreted from parasympathetic neurons, decreases SA node firing to about 75 action potentials per minute, decreasing heart rate. This heart rate is considered normal and healthy for a resting heart. Conversely, norepinephrine increases heart rate. This hormone, secreted from sympathetic neurons, is produced more during exercise, stress, 